All right, so today we're going to look at a quick uh, Slack webhook tutorial. Um, this is quick because uh, the webhooks in Slack are really, really simple to use. Uh, there are other ways to post messages with Slack, but we're only going to go over webhooks today. And this is a good use case if you just want to integrate into your code that you already have to just fire off a message to a certain channel or to a certain person. Um, you know, as, as your code is running, so super useful. Um, for our purposes, we're gonna add attachments, which is part of the way to format a message, uh, you'll see in a minute. But for that, I'm gonna use this JSON generator to just generate some random JSON that we'll use to post to the channel. Um, cool, so let's get started. The way we start every async await node script thing, uh, async function, boom, boom. Okay, cool, throw a try catch in here. By the way, I'm doing this in node right now. Uh, console.log our error e now we're going to be using request to make requests there is a sdk but i don't like using those i like to make raw requests if i can uh, especially this one it's super easy so I hop over to terminal we need npm i request and npm i uh, or yeah and npm i uh, request promise so let's grab these two real quick cool and let's require request at the top. So const request equals require request promise. Um, I'm using VS Code for this tutorial because it's got the built-in debug console, which will be super useful. So I highly recommend it. Uh, we're gonna make a function to go grab that data from JSON generator. So const get uh, data equals async function. And we're just gonna say, uh, uh, const data, I'll say const JSON equals request, and the default is the default method is get, so we don't have to write that. We can say URL, and that's going to be our uh, our JSON generated stuff because this is JSON. We have to tell it to be JSON. All right, let's take a look at what that is for a second. Console.log JSON, uh, and then we need to call it await get data. Okay, uh, I'm going to hit F5 to run the debug console. And it says JSON is not defined. Um, and that's because I wrote true JSON instead of JSON true, which of course isn't going to work. Let's try that again. F5. Okay, here's the request again. Uh, this is actually the full request because I forgot to await it. So uh, it's it's the result, not the after the promise is resolved result. And also you notice I can't actually open this to see what it is. Uh, a quick trick for that in VS Code is at the end of your script, just throw a debugger in here, and that pauses the execution. The script has to not be over for you to be able to inspect it. So um, before I, I actually fix the error, I'm going to refresh this. And now you can see that I have this, and I can actually parse through the whole object. Again, this is a node that I'm able to do this, so it's really cool. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to await this request now. I'm going to hit F5 to rerun this. I got F5, well, F5 stops the debugger, and now it reruns it again. So now you can see I've got an array of six, and I can open that up. And here you go, here's my object. So these are actually huge objects. Yes, I could have gone to JSON generator and, and corrected those objects to not be so huge, but I'm gonna just do a quick map over here. So I'm just say return uh, json.map, um, and we're just gonna say like, uh, these are this is a person, so person, person. Oh my God, person. I feel like my keyboard just didn't type the letter that I told it to type, whatever. Um, and I'm going to do that trick again where I'm going to return implicitly from a multi-line object. So I'm going to wrap this in parens like this. So now I'm able to return without writing the word return. What are we returning? Um, let's return age is person.age. And how about email is person.email. And what else we got? First name, person.first name, and last name, person.last name. All right, so that should be good get data so cool so const people equals that and we can say console dot log people just to check it out boom f5 f5 uh, and there's my array and now it's just the objects that we wanted uh, except first name and last name are blank and uh, that let's see why let's go back up to here and let's console dot log json F5, F5. Okay, so here's the first one. Let's take a look at it. Uh, oh, it's it's name dot first and name dot last, not first name. So name dot first 
and name that last. Cool. Let's get rid of that log because I'm super confident it's going to work this time. I do that often. It doesn't work out. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Age frame. Great. It did work. So we got our object that we want. Now we need to do the Slack stuff. Let's hop over to Slack. And then from here, you can hit this big thing up here and then hit uh, administration and then uh, manage apps. And then from in manage apps, you can go to custom integrations, webhooks. And that throws you over to here where you can now write about an incoming webhook. So you can choose the channel or person that you want for the webhook to be for. And you're just going to say add in incoming webhooks integration. Once you're here, this tells you um, the hook that you need to post to. And then it gives you information about how to actually post those uh, and, and like docs here on what you'd like to do with it. Um, you can name it whatever you want. So we're going to call this YouTube bot. And you could change the image if you want. I'm going to choose an emoji. I'm going to choose Firebang. And we'll hit Save Settings. OK. Uh, I'm also, I need to copy that, that hook, that just this part right here, because I'm going to write the other stuff later. Um, so let's go back to our code. We will uh, say at the top, const hook equals, and that needs to be a string. OK, so that's the hook that we just generated. And then if we go to, let's see, so step one, so let's write some comments here. Uh, get the data, and then we can delete this line, and we can say uh, post to Slack. <laughs> it's going to be pretty simple. All right, so let's go ahead and post to Slack. We're just going to do a uh, request. And we're going to say method is going to be uh, post. And then our body, let's not write it in line, actually. Hold on. Let's, let's write, the, let's write the, the post body up here. So let's just say const slack body equals an array. We're going to write this first. Uh, const equals, you need an equal sign for making things equal. All right, what are we going to make it? So with slack... Um, you have a text, which is the text of the post. So we're going to say, uh, this is a really great Slack message. Woo. And then we have um, a bunch of other stuff you can do. Attachments is one of those things. You'll see what this looks like when I show you, but it's kind of like the blocks at the bottom of a Slack message. That's sort of, it's like call outs, if you will. And it's an array of things. Okay. And so... We're going to loop over our JSON that we got. So we're going to say um, this is going to be people.map person like that. And then let's do one of our cool implicit returns again, since we're just going to return this map. And we're going to return color is good. So color, um, there's a couple different options. I think you have warning and error or bad. I forget exactly. Read the docs to tell you. Well, you know what? That's not how it's supposed to be. Uh, do, 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 do. Attachments, attachments, message attachments, expand. Do, 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 do. Does it say? Does it say about color? Oh, you can pick any color. It's got some predefines, but you can pick any color. So um, it's just the color. Here you go. This is a great example. This is what an attachment looks like right here. And then this is the color that that bar will end up being. Okay. So that's what we're making right now. So color good, which is green, but you can pick any color. And then again, text is the text of that attachment. Um, and so for us, um, we want. We want to be able to bold stuff, so we want to say like uh, like person dot email inside, but we want it to be bolded. And in Slack, you use you wrap stuff in asterisks to bold it. In order to make that work, you actually have to pass um, mkdwn from Markdown to true, so that Slack will parse this as Markdown. Okay, so set that as true, and we'll say and their name is, and let's just use the rest of the variables. So person dot first name and uh, we'll just say person dot last name, um, and we'll say and they are person dot age. Cool. So that's going to be our Slack body, um, and then so down here when we actually post the message, we'll say body is Slack body, and uh, we already did the method. Okay, so we need the URL obviously URL, and if you saw from Slack <clears throat> back here the top where are we at down here it's it's hooks.slack.com slash services so let's grab that and put that in i'm going to put it in back ticks like that um, and then i'm going to pass in the hook that we actually copied earlier so that's the slack url boom post body and then of course this is all json all day long there's that and so we'll just say 
uh, const res equals await that. And we can log out the res here if we want. And cool, let me pop over to Slack, pop over to the message. I'm in that sample chat room right now. And I'll just hit F5 to run it. And here we go. Uh, request error options.uri is a required argument. I wrote UR instead of URL. My bad. Let's rerun it again. And it says OK. If I ho go over to uh, Slack, you can see here we go. YouTube bot. This is a really great Slack message. And here are my attachments. You can see the color here with the boldness. And you can see that all of our variables are filled out. So there's your Slack bot. Um, one last thing I'll mention is that if you want to at the channel, um, the way you do that is a bit different. Normally, you would just say at channel when you're writing, but in this, you actually have to write uh, bracket bang and then channel the thing. And so, instead of at sign, you need to wrap in in the in basically HTML brackets, angle brackets, and then the bang symbol. And then that's how you would do the same as at channel. Okay. So if I run this again, um, you probably won't be able to hear it, but um, it just it just alerted me that I have a new message. And then now it did the same thing, and you can see the at channel is here. So that's how you do at messaging um, in these integrations. So there you go, really simple how to do a webhook with Slack. Um, we'll probably do other videos on the rest of how to use the Slack API later. Thanks for watching.